Well, good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to be back here for my fourth year moderating this wonderful event. So first of all, thank you for having me back. Um, welcome to the Travel Convention. Uh, this is my first visit to the Penoplies. I'm sure for many of you, it's yours as well. But I already can tell that it's not going to be my last. What a fantastic area that the convention has come to this year. So delighted to be here. And also this amazing development. I was told this morning this is the largest hotel um, in the whole of Greece. But what an amazing example of sustainability it is. Um, as I said, I'm delighted to be here moderating, and I've seen the full program, program, as I'm sure you have over the next 48 hours. So many really interesting sessions and speakers to look forward to. Um, Aptos Convention, of course, this year taking place in the Penoplies is a clear demonstration of the organisation and the travel industry's commitment to Greece. Um, and I'd like to introduce some very special guests here now formally to welcome you to the region of Penoplies and to Greece. First of all, please give a very warm welcome to the alternate Minister of Tourism, Elena Kuntura. Hello, good morning. Dear Chairman and Chief Executive of ABDA, dear delegates, a very warm welcome to the ABDA Travel Convention, which we are very proud to host in Greece, in this region in Peloponnese. Greece is extremely fortunate to have been a destination favorite, a home away from home for British holiday makers for many decades. The UK is one of our most significant source markets, the second biggest for Greece. We at the Ministry for Tourism are very satisfied to report that according to our figures, the current season will close with a historical record of more than 25 million tourists compared to 22 million last year, marking an exceptional increase by 29.3% from the UK. And for this, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, because we could not have done this without your continuous and outstanding support. This outstanding performance of the Greek tourism came as a direct result of the significant and coordinated work undertaken by both the Ministry for Tourism and the Greek National Tourism Organization in close cooperation with the private tourism sector. This work includes, among others, campaigns to extend the tourism season, opening of new markets while building on the traditional ones, developing thematic tourism, simplifying legislation, and attracting investments in tourism. Most of you are familiar with our best loved locations such as the Greek islands and our unique and heartwarming Greek hospitality. But Greece is so much more than a sea and sun destination. Greece offers, except its unique nature, one of the richest culture in the world, the gradle of our Western civilization, along with its long history. And there is so much more to be discovered. Dynamic cities with excellent opportunities for conference tourism, an abundance of outdoor activities all year round, a gastronomy considered one of the healthiest worldwide and much more. There is a huge number of undiscovered treasures to be explored in Greece. Many of them are located in this region, in the Peloponnese, that history and culture go hand in hand and can be spotted in everyday life. Here in the Peloponnese, you can find some of the most important cities of the country, such as classical Olympia, birthplace of the Olympic Games, by Zadim Mistras and medieval Monemvasia, 
Dear friends, it is our great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to the Peloponnese this October. We are delighted to be able to showcase one of Greece's mainland gems. I would like to extend a warm thank you to APTA for choosing Greece and the Peloponnese as the host destination for its 2015 convention, and I hope that your stay at this fabulous resort will be a memorable one and will be one of the reasons to return back to Greece. I wish you a very successful meeting. Thank you so much.